I think one of the most important things with magic is intention. Mm. So talk to me about how much intention is it, how important it is when it, when it's, when it comes to doing magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, first of all, we got to understand that the universe is mind, all is mental, right? And with that being said, like first, before you start to do something, you have to put it in your mind what you want to do, right? Like intention is all about thought. Mm -hmm. And your thoughts have to align with your actions in order for you to get results. And I think that's why when some people say like, why my spells are not working? Why are my rituals not creating any, any effect? It's mm -hmm. because something is not adding up. You can't do a spell to get a man, but then you never leave the house, right? Like, what is he going to do? Come to your door? No, you got to go out and find him. You can't do a spell for a whole bunch of money, but you're not creating a channel for that to come in. So your intention, your thought has to also add up with actions for you to get those results. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I think that's something the beauty, what makes this game so beautiful, this game we call this game of life so beautiful is that you, I don't think you could teach intention. That's something a person has to figure out on their own. And they're constantly looking for somebody. How do I do this? But I can't really teach you how to tap into your attention. That's something you got to figure out on your own. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I think, I don't think that I can teach people intention, but what I do do is like, I do have classes and I do mentor people and I teach them how to get better results with their magic. And what I notice is that the shadow work is really about tapping into the subconscious mind to reprogram your mind so that you can believe that you can attract these things that mm, you want. Mm, because a mm. lot of the times people think that they want these things, but subconsciously they may not think that they're worthy of it. They may yeah, not think that thanks. they deserve it or that they can have it. So that's why we always stress like, okay, shadow work, dark magic, like magic is not just to, you know, it never was really created just to, get money and, you know, have, I don't know, be attractive, get a man, tie, some, tie somebody to you. It was really used to cultivate the soul. Magic was really a system to understand the higher principles of life. That's why they talk about high magic and low magic. High magic is when you're dealing with like the higher level frequencies and you're really trying to transform your life. These are people that's talking about um, dealing with like the Croatia spirits, but people call demons. But demons really come from daemon, which was really your spirit guide or the jinn or your genie. Um, side note, just thinking about it, like men, there's an old saying that everybody is born with a, a genie. Well, men are born with a genie and women are born with a Juno. And they say that your genie or your genius is what actually you tap into to tap into your artistic talents. And if everybody has it, but not everybody knows how to tap into it. And I mm -hmm. think that's why the church and a lot of religions kept us away from this mysticism because they don't want people to tap into their true genius and mm -hmm. activate their higher self. Because imagine if everybody tapped into their true higher self, like we would be unstoppable, especially mm -hmm. melanated people. Come on. Mm -hmm. 